All right, everybody, I'm going to go ahead and do a video to show y'all something cool. I'm working on a 2005 2500. I'm going to end up shaving the door handles. I'm putting Cadillac tail lights in. I shaved everything, took out all the dents, and I'm working on a license plate box. And I have moved the handle to the inside. So you just pull those right there, and the tailgate will fall. And I made this box myself because I got tired of waiting on the company to ship it to me. So what I was wanting to show you guys is what I'm doing here. This is going to mount the license plate. That hole right there is for a light so that I can remain um, legal. Remain legal. So this here I got off eBay. I got 12 of these. These are bolt-in valve stems like I got these for about a dollar a piece off of eBay and I didn't like the way this one was shaped it's really about the same honestly at this point because I may take the rubber off but anyway um, get back to point here so with using these you can have anything that you want holding your license plate down you can get smiley faces or dice anything that you can get for a valve stem cap weird little skulls pretty much anything there's another bolt in them that I had you can get little spikes it's basically endless on what you can get here's one carbon fiber it's pretty neat so you can just get whatever and then it'll be full custom so that's what this whole thing is about and so I can remove this cap and I can remove these nuts I've been in here welding and sanding and grinding. So these were shorter than what I had. This one here is what I had and that it's just pretty tall. The bolt that goes on it and that one is way shorter and I thought the shorter bolt would be better. So if you dissect this little fella right here you can basically just stack whatever you want. You could leave a piece of rubber on the back side if you want to or whatever. I've actually not done this this way yet. I usually try to get a valve stem extension and I've had that in one of my previous videos. But the valve stem extensions do not weld in very good and I don't know if this is going to be weldable metal. But the way that this is going to be welded in, I cannot get my hand in there to the back side of this box so if I was to lose one of these good luck putting it back on and if you take all of the rubber off it will sit flat like that and then I suppose I could just tighten the crap out of this and it would never move and then I could just put my license plate over that this box is a hair bigger than what you would order I did it on purpose because I like a certain style license plate frame that is very hard to get nowadays but it's stainless steel and it's in the shape of tribal and I basically can't find anymore I've seen some plastic ones, but it's kind of, I don't really want a plastic one. The license plate frame that I use is just a little bit taller. I've got one over here. Somewhere. Maybe I left it in here. Anyway. It's just a little bit taller, and uh, 
I'll pause you and see if I can find it. All right, I found it. So that's what I've got. This one needs to be cleaned up a little bit. But the holes are just a little bit off. So if there was rubber on the back side, it might make it easier. And that's as far as it'll go down on that one. So this one will go down quite a bit further. So that's kind of where I'm at. And that's why this is not welded in yet. And the ones that you order will pretty much be this size. This is the cleaner plate box. But I'd already cut my hole out. It's just, mine's a little bit bigger. And it came with a light as well. They folded theirs. I probably should have tried to fold it instead of just welding it. But when the license plate's in there, you'll never see that anyway. I'm going to pull this one off. is and then how short that is so that right there is gonna be great that's what we need shorter one I want to get these mixed up I'll set all that over there so then this one I can just stick on there and I can use this little thing right here as a washer I can stick that on there my nut on let me put all this together and I'll cut you back on in a minute all right so what I did I just put this on the top right there it was just a little bit off put that on there to save my threads and then I just took my body hammer and I tapped on that so it fits now it's real good so we're gonna call it good it's a little tight but it fits good and I believe these are just a hair bigger than the bolt that usually you'll use to bolt these on so if you do this you might have to drill these out just a little bit bigger and there you have that stands off just a hair so it won't rattle I guess it's not really on purpose but we'll say it is because we don't want it to rattle I'm gonna go ahead and weld this guy right here in now I'm gonna put it right there that in get some body work done get this other tail light welded in oh yeah this is a 2500 in case somebody didn't know 05 I think it's 99 to 06 these are 1500 tail light fillers they do not fit worth a crap you'll have to add you'll have to relocate your body line and you'll have to add all the way around the side of the truck from here all the way around to there pain in the butt all right I had all this together and decided that I would double nut this one so what I did is I just took it back off and put that nut on this side right here and I can use a 12 millimeter to hold that and then I can put the nut on this side and I can tighten that down 
and it won't stand off nearly as tall and it's fully adjustable now so I can get it however height that I want it I think I'm just gonna leave it right there and that'll give the owner of this vehicle this is not my vehicle it will give him uh, plenty of thread there to put whatever he wants on I'm gonna go ahead and fix these other ones up get them tight like that one is and get them all welded in place and I do have this tailgate handle relocator so the handle will be on the inside and anytime that you're doing any of this I will paint this before I put any of that together so that it does not rust and it'd be a good idea also before I weld this in to paint the back side of this so that it doesn't rust all right so I guess I'll see you guys next time I'm gonna go ahead and just wrap this video up just wanted to show you guys that have an awesome day